Hadira Hashgraph's HBAR could be setting the stage for a phenomenal 6,000% surge to the upside. In today's video, we're going to be exploring, well, where we think the bullish market could be taking the price action of Hadira Hashgraph. If you find this video useful, informative, smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe, and let's jump right down into the charts. So guys, we're going to kick things off right here on the daily time frame. This is Hadira Hashgraph paired up with USDT on the one day Binance chart. There's a couple of things that I want to discuss with the price action, specifically what happened previously over here in 2020 and how I think we are seeing something being repeated where we are right now, only on a much larger scale. Okay, so it's important that we reflect on what happened here and how it led to a fantastic surge to the upside. And then take a look at where we are today and what that might mean to a fantastic bull market market for Hadira Hashgraph. So we're going to first of all take a look at the Fibonacci relationships. There's an interesting structure here, but we want to first of all take the relationship of our Fibonacci over to where we are currently. We'd use this by going to the lowest point that we had seen during the previous uh, lows. Okay, that is coming in right down here. I'm going to just move my line to that. It comes in at the low of 3.56 cents. I'm going to go ahead and put the Fibonacci chart right there. This is important because that is our current bear market low. And although there's a lot of fear out there indicating that there may be another push to the downside that actually sets a new bear market low point, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. And I'm going to show you why in just a moment. So we're going to use the 3.56 low for our Fibonacci. Okay. Now, with that in mind, it shows us with a potential $2.19.96 to $5 dollars point eight one. That there is a typical range that we would expect the next bullish market to kind of take us to. It would be a three wave structure like so. Okay. So that's going to be our first kind of benchmark. We're going to be looking at this and then we're going to start assessing whether or not we're repeating ourselves in history and whether or not we have that ability to move out towards $2 or maybe even higher. So let's go ahead and reflect on what happened here back in 2020, because this is a key moment moment for Hadira Hashgraph. Some interesting developments within the structures of what was going on here that I want to talk about. Specifically, as we started to see a bit of a lift in 2019, up to this peak just here in February 2020. This meant that we saw a bit of a Federal Reserve pivot. We saw interest rates being decreased over in the US, and we did see a bit of a pull to the downside as we kind of entered into February. Again, there was lots of fear around COVID, the pandemic, and all that kind of stuff at the same same time. Then, of course, we set a new low down here, a local low in March of 2020. For many altcoins, this was their bear market low point, but not for Hedera Hashgraph. We actually bottomed out much earlier, just over here in 2019. This is actually really important because other projects, let's say Cardano, for example, had their lows during the 2020 crash, but not Hedera Hashgraph. It actually held up very, very well. Okay, and that's quite important because we're in very similar times where we are expecting a Federal Reserve pivot. Now, considering a Federal Reserve pivot has kind of been priced in, in my opinion, we've seen negative price action for sure, but we are likely to see consolidation in this range, in my humble opinion. So that means that this low is likely to hold at 3.56 cents. Okay, so now we have an understanding as to kind of what happened back in 2020. It's important to understand that basically during all of this time of extreme volatility, volatility, the market was incredibly boring. There was a lot going on in 2020. We saw fantastic runs on some altcoins. There was lots of kind of money being printed. And it wasn't until 2021 that we actually saw a fantastic surge to the upside, which meant that we basically saw this huge period of consolidation and accumulation. And that's essentially what I think is likely to unfold in the next few months. So let's go ahead and zoom out of this and start reflecting on why I think we are seeing a very very similar pattern from what we saw in 2020 and late 2020 or early and late 2020. 
To do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the bar patterns. The bar patterns let me copy structures that I see in the price action and move them over to a new area in the price chart because this particular area is of interest to me and I think we are likely to be repeating something very similar. So I'm going to copy this entire structure from 2020 to its peak in 2021 and then I'm going to go ahead and take this structure and move it over to where we are today. Okay, now why am I doing this? I'm doing this because the structure that we see today, I I think is very much reminiscent of this exact pattern. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see this structure. And it's playing out just like this. We have the higher highs and the higher lows, and then we have that inevitable pull to the downside. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out a little bit, and I'm going to show you the detail of this structure right in here and compare it to where we are today. Okay, so as you can kind of see, if I just make this a little bit bigger, you have these kind of mini pushes to the upside, then collapse, push up, collapse, push up, and collapse. This happens to repeat itself on a number of occasions when it comes to this particular structure. You can even see just in here, we have this push to the upside, most recently pull back and then a surge and then a collapse. You even see it right here, surge up, collapse, surge up and then full collapse. And that is exactly one of what is going on right where we are right here. Okay, so this means that we're likely to move down and consolidate a little bit lower in the price action before we actually start to see significant surges to the upside. So the expectations for me is to continue us kind of bouncing around and accumulating in this low range before we get into the next big runs to the upside. This could take some time. It could be, you know, until kind of late 2024 before we start to lift up in any meaningful way into 2025 before we really start to see these significant surges to the upside, which then means how high are we likely to go? Are we just going to repeat ourselves or are we looking for something a little bit more? Now, I did, of course, skew this off a little bit, but I do think we are going to follow this kind of structure in this kind of size as well, because it is slightly larger than what we saw back here in 2020 and 2021, which does then mean that we are likely to hit our kind of three wave target between $2.16 and $5.83, which will be a phenomenal run. Now, I will say that this part of the bar pattern may or may not play out, meaning that we saw a double top here in 2021. There's no guarantee that we're going to do the same here. But I do think that this area of pre of consolidation happening to fall right in line with our typical 1 to 1.236 Fibonacci levels is quite reminiscent of where I think things could potentially be going for Hedera Hashgraph. So in terms of percentages, what are we talking about? Well, we can see that this would be a pretty interesting structural run that would take it from these low ranges up to that range of about 6,000%, potentially even higher towards 16,000%, which would be more in line with previous altcoins that we had seen in 2021's bullish market. For instance, we saw 6,000% for Hedera Hashgraph, which was was good. It was better than Bitcoin. It was better than Ethereum. It was better than XRP. But it did not do as well as other altcoins like Cardano, for example, Harmony One, VeChain. All of these projects did phenomenally well. I think we saw 17,000% for ADA. We saw 28,000% for VeChain. We saw 32,000% for Harmony One, 42,000% for Polygon's Matic. And it, for me, it looks like we could see Hedera Hashgraph maybe push up towards that 16,000 thousand percent in this bullish market of 2025. Now, that might seem really realistic to some. That might seem completely unrealistic to many others. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. Where do you sit with Hedera Hashgraph? Are you on the more bullish side or the bearish side? Do you think this has a future or do you think it doesn't have a future? Let me know in the comments below or join us in our free Discord server linked in the description. And guys, if you haven't done so yet, check out my second channel right here where I cover the technical analysis on Cardano every single day.